okay now let's move to the last variant of this cylinder case so what we we'll want to do now is a 2d case okay so remember snappy is fully 3d so how do we create a 2d mesh so this is the what we're going to see here so basically to create a 2d, a 2D mesh you need always you need to do a 3d mesh and then there is a new application that you can use to convert the 3d mesh to a 2d mesh so there are a few restrictions to do this you need to have you you have to two faces one face here and the other here so these faces need to be parallel so when you have a parallel then you're going to do a projection of this face to the other and you're going to insert one cell in this direction so see here 3d you have cells here here is just one cell so the new application that we're going to use is strip mesh that reads a dictionary called strip mesh dictionary there's the input file <coughs> what is happening is this okay so you have your geometry and when you have your geometry okay you put it here you create your block mesh and this block mesh is going to intersect this geometry when it, in, it intersects this geometry it, it's going to cut the geometry okay and then you have these two faces and you are going to do is just project this face into this one and just use one cell here as easy as that so just generate your 3d mesh and you traditional way but remember that you need if you want to have it to the okay you need to put the, the the block mesh like this that is going to intercept your geometry and then cut it and then you can project and i just want to point out something very important that is you are doing internal geometries okay like in the next next case uh it's not recommended to have your block mesh that is fully fitting the geometry because it might happen that due to precision it will cut a little bit that STL so you are not going to get the right results you are going to see later when we be visualized okay so it's not recommended in internal geometries to have it fully conforming or fully fitted there okay but here we're talking about 2d okay so make your STL larger than the domain or the domain smaller than the STL you have these two faces you know the name of these two faces and then using this strip mesh that reads this dictionary you see that you know the source patch or the source face mean x mean mat set you project it you use this method linear normal one layer thickness of one it's always recommended to use a, a thickness to one of one it's up to you okay that's variable and basically project this into this that's all that you're doing by the way there are different methods here now if the faces are not parallel okay we're talking about no wedge stuff like that okay but proper to the the faces have to be parallel but they have di different techniques to do the instruction here okay but a fully to the case those faces needs to be parallel so that's all okay here you have the steps okay and finally but you're going to have some exercises here so feel free to address this exercise and then we can discuss this during the q a session but let's run this case so as you go here you see that you have a few uh, scripts so this one will run everything in one step so see that i'm going to show you the steps first 3d mesh and then 3d to 2d okay but i'm not going to open it's snappy because it's exactly the same okay so the only thing that i want to show you is this one a strip mesh that is the new one okay so you have it there the name of the faces okay you know what it is what are the names files and everything is located in the same way and actually let me open a snappy experience because just to mention that here you need to use surface features okay it's not necessarily it's not necessary however it's strongly recommended to use this option uh implicit implicit snapping okay so let me put it here in common uh sorry you need to to have it so this is just to in case that you have those edges or trailing edges so implicit will use an internal method to compute those hard edges okay And as you put, and as you use the explicit, you need to compute it explicitly using surface feature. So this is recommended, okay, just for 2D. So if we run the first step, run 
mesh. In this case, we don't have any edges, so it's not important. So this is the 3D mesh, okay? Apply. So I have it in a smaller domain, but it doesn't matter. So see that you have cells in this direction, okay? And more cells here due to the, that, that oak tree split in, uh, that is used. So what we want to do is convert this to, the, to 2D by projecting one face into the other. And to stress it again, the faces need, need to be parallel. So that is the next step. Okay, so you go here, run 3D to 2D. To so it's doing the projection. Okay, so let me go here. I think I didn't open this. So you will see the steps. So the, the 3D mesh is standard st steps. So see that you have it here even and using this. There's no need, no need to do it. And then here, see that a strip mesh and then this is to rename patches okay so this is a new, a new another command to do the renaming but it's an old command so it's deprecated okay but it still is supported but you can do the same using uh that is done here using font dictionary or or change dictionary okay so this one will read see that this file and see that is just accessing this min j and min y and then assigning this type okay but you can do it with font dictionary and now let's open this mesh so recall that in the previous case we have some cells here so see that now you don't have anything there okay so this is what we have done, okay? And remember that these two patches need, needs to be of type empty when you have a 2D case. So also then when you want to set up the case, remember that you go here, boundary, and you will set up those to empty. And actually already are set up to empty here. Okay, so then get your files in zero. So you just, like within the previous case, so for instance, let me go here, you fish those files here put it there and just need to adjust the names okay according to what you have in boundary so in boundary we call it like this you will adapt the these files to those names or you can change these names to have it there okay and here also this one will be instead of symmetry will be end Pay attention also to this class here. So U is a vector, so see that we're using the right file. P and the others are a scalar, okay? So sometimes happens when you copy and paste that you copy from somewhere else and you didn't pay attention is if it was a scalar or a vector. So pay, pay attention to that. So that's all, okay? We cover a lot, as you have seen in this, this case. So, I think you will have a lot of questions when we meet for the Q&A session. So that's all for this case. We have another case coming, okay? But it will be faster because uh, at this point we master, or I hope we master everything. So the next case is it is an internal geometry, an internal mesh. So thank you for your attention. See you next video. Bye.